All right, so, so last week, we had someone come out here to quote us for the installation of exhaust fans because we got ghosted by the first installer. The guy last week quoted us $6,000 to install two fans and said it would take three days. Us being the Chinese that we are, we brought our GC out here. We're like, yo, figure out a way to install these fans, warranty the work for us, install that shit, and get it done within a day. You can use our scissor lifts that we have, $1,400, 12 hours completion. It's like, didn't take three days. I don't, like, this is why, like, a lot of ways, these bigger American corporations, they try to charge so much money, guys. There's always someone that can do it cheaper and better. Not necessarily always better, but in this case, better. Yeah. Alright guys, we got phase two here. Uh, as you could see in the last video, we've got everything kind of up for the system. So now next is going to be our actual bin insert. This is what the bins look like. You can see all these pallets that we have in the warehouse. And we have a total of 1346. Some are extra. 1324 actually fits in the system. And right here, uh, David from PO is just kind of walking us through of how we can actually set up the bins. So these right here are dividers. So. Here's a normal bin by itself if you just wanted to keep one skew, but with this system, they don't recommend that because it's just a waste because then if we kept it like this, we could only have 1,324 skews, but as soon as we actually split this up, now 1,324, double, oh, other one? Oh, upside down. Yeah, that's good, it's good. First time here. We're learning. So if you wanted to do just one bin like this, this would immediately double the space we could fit, 13, 24 times two. And then you can also configure it like this, where you could fit up to four different SKUs. And obviously that quadruples everything. So we're gonna do a healthy mix of two, four, some eight, and then some 16. Uh, so if you are in the kind of e-commerce space, you know that there's a lot of shirts and things. So eight and 16 bins would be really beneficial for returns. So as soon as you get a return, you can just go into the system you can call for a bin and put your return away and fit it into a 16 bin quadrant but yeah this is what the bins look like uh, we got a lot of work to do we're going to start doing some of that insert later today so you will see that next Internally, externally, whatever, but we wanted to show you what's actually been going on up here because Austin has been filming, but we haven't really talked about it. So our product development lab or space upstairs has kind of just been an open space and there's not really been a whole lot of like, things going on. So if a client walks up here, all they see is just like a table and it just kind of looks like not professional, right? Now obviously doing this type of stuff, it requires us to have money. Right? That's just the truth. And so we only felt like now we could afford something like this and only now did it make sense for us to do something like this. So we're building out three rooms. Um, obviously we have our content side that, like Austin and I film the reels here for Sun Pro Dev. We have our psych wall. But then now we're building a huge lounge in which like if someone's coming up here during like their lunch break or designers just want to like work in there instead of their desk, there's different spaces for them to be able to operate and just like think freely. So it's not just like a desk and not a lot of creativity. So we are designing for brands. So in the design space, you want to feel creative. So we're trying to give people more ability to do that. So we have a nice 
lounge here that we're gonna add like a TV, a really big couch, so it feels like they're maybe at home. Then we have our open space here that for, for the time being will be where the designers are. We have four tables here and they can just like kind of do their work out in the open and it's a lot of a much better space. The left side we have our temporary meeting room that I say temporary because things will change in the next six months. But we have a meeting room that clients will now come up here and actually be in a meeting room as opposed to our lounge downstairs or our meeting room downstairs, which we kind of double use as a break room. So it's too much going on, right? And I think now we're starting to have a lot higher end clientele. So we have to look more professional. We gotta invest in these things. So we have a meeting room being built out where we're gonna showcase a lot of the designs that we've done and just get that really decked out and just overall like a much more inviting space. And then we have here, which is like our temporary cold storage space, which basically half of this space has been but we wanted to close that. So we have a client right now that's doing skincare that we need to close off. And just when you come up here, you're not just seeing like 500 to 1,000 bucks and it looks kind of freaking ugly, to be honest. So we need to enclose that. And that will be our future meeting room. Like really, really big. We wanted to make it to where it's like a presentation room where maybe in the next year, we're gonna have over 1,000 to 2,000 styles that we built, just like make it really nice. But as of now, we're in closing that. And then that kind of leaves like the overall space up here, right? The open space, the remainder, where we're probably gonna build like a kitchenette, like a fridge, and just allow like, if our designers are coming up here, they don't have to go downstairs. They can just kind of do, stay here and just be in their own little world. Because downstairs looks completely different than upstairs. And basically like, both ends of the business always go to war. We got, we got a lot of shit going on and, and um, as we grow our team and more people are coming in here, when they are coming in here, we also want them to feel like we're more established and just inviting so we can get more higher end clientele but also higher end staff. All right, we started phase two yesterday. We are going to continue it today. Uh, there's 1,324 bins total. Yesterday we did 349, so that leaves us with 975 left. We did about 25% of all the bins yesterday in about two hours and 15 minutes. So we're gonna start on them early today. It's 10:15, and the goal is to finish them all today so that we can take a look at the system and see if we can put any clients into it and finish phase two. All right guys, so this is the last bin. This is the last step of phase two. So we're gonna walk you guys through the process of what we did to put every bin into the PO system. So all these bins came on a pallet. Uh, each pallet had around 40 bins. So we would take off a bin and then we would test the bin on this uh, platform right here. And this would just tell if it didn't meet the standard uh, specs for inside the system. So we would take it would set it on this metal piece right here and we'd fit it like this if it didn't fit if there was any like reason it wasn't going down then it would be just considered defective so we'd set it off to the side so once we check it we would then take it off and then we built this train right here so whoever was over here taking this bin off the pallet after they checked it they would slide it down and then each bin gets a barcode so that in the system it can tell what kind of split we did. And right now we were finishing with a two bin system. So we would put the divider and this will be considered two bins. You have two different compartments. We did two, fours, eights, and some 16s, but the majority was a two split. So after it was barcoded and split, it would come all the way down at the end of the train. And then whoever was over here on this side is gonna be looking at the iPad in the system. They would put this into the port, get it lined up correctly, and then you would scan it into the iPad. And then the system would take it, and then the robot is gonna take it by the arms, put it into the system, and then store it away. Now all we have to do is finish this train, label them up and put them in, and then that is phase two complete.
All right, exciting times here at Relay Distro. So we're gonna move into phase three and what that is, is the actual integration within our system. So right now, PO does not have a solid integration with our shipping software, which is Ship Hero. So we actually have to build a custom integration, but they are helping us implement sort of like a quick fix to where we can still use the system to get through Black Friday. And then after Black Friday, we're gonna go full force into the full integration to where um, it kind of we can use the full functionality of Ship Hero and PO at the same time. So um, Ian, the guy from PO, will be back on Monday. We do have a solution that we're gonna start testing. And once we get the green light for that, the next step is going to be product insert. So we're going to input right now with just one of our clients, we're gonna put the post in here and we can fit with how we've configured all the bins, we can fit about 4,150 SKUs, something around there. And I mean, just that alone could fit this entire picking space right behind us that is our normal picking space on the floor. So if we actually wanted to put everybody in here, we could. Obviously, some of the configurations that we have are like, we couldn't fit some products because of the, the size of the, the compartments but uh, ideally, theoretically, we could fit the entire thing. So we're gonna get creative with it. We're gonna do what we can to, to fit what we can. We're gonna start with the post. We're really hoping that this quick fix integration works out for us so that we can use it for Black Friday. Uh, if not, we're gonna kind of be manual until we can uh, get this thing connected. So we're really excited. As you can see, this thing is kind of like a spectacle, I guess, at least for us in our warehouse. And we're, we're excited to, to get it operational and uh, input product and start using it. But yeah, we'll, uh, we'll update you on Monday when, Pete, when Ian is here from PO.